Hello, in this video I will talk about functions and methods in Python, but this video will just be concerned with calling them and what they actually are. So there will be an, another video about uh, how to write your own functions and methods in Python. Um, calling functions is very simple in Python and it works just as in any other language um, that you would know. And um, here we have a couple of examples for built-in functions in Python. Um, first we have the type, which we saw already, and passing an integer it would return int. Then uh, next up we have len. We didn't see len before. Len will return uh, the length of um, something that we put into that defines this length function. So we can only um, get the length of things that actually define this length function and um, not every object uh, defines such a function but the string does and len of a string will return us the length of the string and finally we have round and round will just um, take some number and round that to an integer so if we execute this we can see uh, it returns class int for three then the length of hello is five and 3.3 um, rounded is three then one very handy feature in IPython is um, you can get information about um, functions that have def uh, have a defined doc string, and uh, you get this information by um, saying the function and then a question mark. And if we execute this, it will print the signature, so the name uh, of the function, together with the parameters that would be uh, valid then the doc string explaining what this function does in the best case and um, then the type so this is a built-in functional method then um, something else we can do to get this information is when we're writing code and um, we want to pass something but we don't exactly know how um, how this function is defined and what we can pass to this function we can just open the parentheses and then press shift tab and this will display uh, the same doc string and signature, um, which just shows you that we can pass a number. And this n digits, this n digits is a keyword argument, which we will also cover in another video. Um, but this is just another parameter that you can use for changing the behavior of the function. All right, and here we uh, show again the round function with the longer uh, float now and um, we actually pass the second argument so we pass this n digits argument here it's optional um, but here we do and the two tells us um, to how many digits this should round so this will round to two decimal places um, very important is that in python functions are first class objects meaning that functions behave as any other object in python as well so it would behave in the same way as a float or a boolean or um, an object of the class animal, for example. And uh, this is very nice because you can use functions um, and assign them to variables or you can use functions and pass them to other functions as parameters and um, with that uh, create a different behavior uh, that is not possible in some other languages. For example, in Java, functions are not really objects and uh, you can't pass a function to another function as a parameter but yeah in this case um, we can in python and here we say a function which is our variable name equals print and print is just our print function without the parentheses parentheses if we edit the parentheses here then it would call print and assign whatever is returned by print to a function but without them it will just take the function object itself and assign that to a function, uh, the variable. Then calling this uh, variable is just very easy by adding the parentheses. And um, here we can pass hello world because a function is now the print function and calling this will actually print hello world to the, um, to the console or below the cell as you would expect from print. And um, yeah, we can also print this a function variable and it would tell us that it's actually a function and um, yeah we can also print the type of this function and yeah that as well will show us that 
this class is built in functional method. All right, so this is actually a, an example of um, a function in Python, but as I said before, we will get into how you write functions um, later on in another video. But for now, this function takes two arguments, a number and what. Uh, we don't have to specify any types here. Python will do that automatically. And what this function does is it will print um, whatever what returns when we pass a number to that. And in this case, we can see that since we call what here, what should probably be a function and number could be whatever. But as the number, uh, as the variable name number suggests, we can pass a number here. Um, all right, and now we call this do something to number function and pass a negative 3.15 and um, include the round function as the second parameter. And what this will do is go into this function with number being equal to um, minus 3.15 and what is equal to the round function. And then it will print round of minus 3.15. So it should print, um, this This whole call should print minus three actually. Then um, we can do the same, but this time we pass uh, the apps function and apps is another built-in function, which just takes the absolute value of a number. So in this case, uh, it would be 3.15. It um, just makes negative numbers positive and leaves positive numbers uh, as they are. So as we can see, we get the expected results minus three for the rounding operation and 3.15 for the apps uh, function. Now methods. Um, methods are a special kind of function and uh, I probably confused them already in a previous video where I used uh, the wrong word for one of them. But um, there actually is a differentiation um, which is that function are not declared inside objects or not declared inside uh, classes, but methods are. So they work pretty much the same, but functions are outside of classes, methods are inside of classes. And that is the only difference. And uh, yeah, some people don't make this difference, but I think it's quite handy uh, to have a difference here because uh, the way you call them is actually different. Okay, so here we have um, two variables. A is hello world, so a string, and B is an integer five. And uh, yeah, we can see their uh, string and integer. And now we can uh, execute some methods on this A variable. Since it's a string, it has some predefined uh, methods that were um, built into Python. And here we just uh, show some examples of that so we have uh, first off the capitalize function which is called by saying variable dot function name and then we also have to include the parentheses uh, to tell python to call it if we didn't have the parentheses here it would just um, take the object the function object a dot capitalize and um, evaluate that but capitalize as the name suggests just capitalizes the string and returns it um, and so this print will just print uh, the hello world, but with capital letters. Then what replaced us, it's another string built-in function. It will uh, look for the first substring, which is passed to this function and replaced by the second substring. So it will take all the else, all the lowercase else in the string uh, in A and uh, replace them by uh, uppercase X. Then, um, Oh, I actually made a mistake. Um, capitalize does not uh, make everything uppercase. It just capitalizes the beginnings of words. Uh, sorry for that. The way to um, actually capitalize, capitalize the whole string is upper. So if we say a dot upper, um, the whole string is converted to a, a capital characters. If we want to make everything lowercase, it's a dot lower. Um, all right. And now uh, we have some Boolean returning functions. First off, uh, we have is numeric, and this will return true if the only characters in the string are numeric uh, characters. 
so uh, the the numbers um, 0 to 9 um, are the only allowed characters in the string. Then the function is alpha uh, will return true if the only characters are um, in the alphabet, so a to z. Um, if the string contains only these types of characters, it's true, otherwise it's false. And then um, the final one we have here is um, the function, uh, the method actually um, is lnum, and this returns true if the string contains um, characters from the alphabet or numerical characters. So it's just um, is numeric and is alpha combined. And here you can see the output um, did everything as uh, it should. One very handy function um, we have as well built into function uh, built into Python is dir, and um, dir uh, I think we showed that before, but it just lists everything uh, every function that an object has, and we can uh, show that for an empty string, um, which will return the same list as for any other string, um, and this is a long list of functions, and here. You can see some of which we showed, like the lower function um, or the is numeric, and it has some more. And you can maybe um, look into that if you want to know more about um, yeah, modifying strings in Python. Um, as I said before, we have to include the parentheses because if we don't, we will just get the obj uh, the, uh, the method object. And so here we get. Um, the function string that is alpha Python actually calls it a function, um, but it actually is a method because this empty string is an object, and we call the uh, we have this um, yeah this method inside of the string object. But um, yeah, if we remove the parentheses, it will not call the function uh, or the method, but it will actually return the method itself. We can also call help. Help is another built-in function um, which returns the um, help that is defined in Python. Um, not every function has um, some help defined, but uh, for all of the built-in functions, there should be something there. And um, you can call help past some function and it will tell you um, some information about this uh, function. And this could be quite useful as well for um, exploring new functions or finding out what exactly something does. And as another example, here we use b. Um, at the top here we said b equals 5, so b is an integer. And uh, this just shows you that for integers this function does not work, so an integer does not have a capitalized function. And if we try to run this it says uh, the int object has no attribute capitalize. Um, yeah, and this makes sense because there are no capital numbers, um, and so capitalize is not uh, defined for integers but only for strings.